Let's see how we can select elements with PineGraw and edit their properties. So the simplest way is to click on an element of the page, on the page, and we'll, you'll notice that the element gets also highlighted in the tree display, and it gets a blue border and actions menu on the top. Um, let's click on the button and if we then go to properties panel there we get various properties that uh, control the behavior and display of this element so for example for button we can change like the type <coughs> the, the link the color um, of the element another way is to click on the element in the tree and it will also get selected and tree has uh, two other options we can click on this eye to hide an element just to make editing easier so we can hide the elements which we don't need at the moment and there is also a collapse error error arrow which collapses all the child elements under this parent and this is very convenient because when we collapse elements it is easier to move them around and manipulate them than if, if we have like this bunch of children elements open and also when we when we click on a selected element or its uh, children you will notice that the child element doesn't get selected but the parent the one which is collapsed gets selected instead so this can make working with complex layouts uh, easier um, <clears throat> and for example let's say we want to change uh, a navigation item at the top so if i just click on it the link element gets selected uh, but I probably want to select its parent navigation item so there are two ways how to easily do that one is just to use the tree and to click on its parent or let's go back and select the link we can use breadcrumbs in properties to select a parent uh, any element in the parent chain of the selected element and if we open these arrows then we can see all all breadcrumbs from the top of the document down to the selected element um, and then we can manipulate the elements properties and one more thing I want to show you is searching the tree just type the text and we get a handy way of finding only the elements that we are interested in.